In this part of tutorial, the conceptual truss system design will be explained. First off, let's go to wood crimping tab in Revit ribbon and drag truss plus RT for better accessibility. Let's go to truss systems menu and press insert truss system grid function. d grid dialog box pops up and it asks for a roof definition that we want to create truss system grid for. Let's press pick and pick the roof you want to define. We can see that green lines were drawn by truss plus RT around our roof perimeter which corresponds the roof boundaries. Next, it asks us to define and slope roof lines. Left slope roof line, right slope roof line, and valley slope roof line. Let's press pick and pick the line for a corresponding part of your roof. Let's pick the left one. And let's pick the right one and let, let's pick valley slope roof line. We can pick either left or, or right. It doesn't matter. And let's press OK. Trust plus RT allows us to select the type for this part of the roof we want to create. So let's select type which is Dutch and press OK. It created a conceptual truss system grid and we can check the design before we generate any truss. And this is very comfortable to evaluate your truss system design before you generate your trusses. If we want to change something for our design, for example, we want to change our setback and, and truss spacing, we can select the truss system grid, go to truss system menu and select modify truss system grid function. Let's change the truss spacing to 800 and let's add a second girder ply. We also want to unlock the valley trusses will not be used function because we have valley trusses in our project. And let's press OK. Our truss system grid will be modified and we can see the changes in a matter of seconds. If we want to change the setback, we should go to configurations, trust system configuration, find our trust system, press modify, and change the setback, and press apply. Our truss system is updated. As we are happy with our truss system, we can generate some trusses. Let's select the truss system, go to truss systems menu, 
and press Generate Trusses. A new window pops up which allows us to select different trust types for different trust category in our system. For example, we can change the common trust type, or jack trust type, rafters and corner girders in this particular system. We can select either of these. After we've selected the types we want to insert in our trust system, let's press OK. I will fast forward the generation of trusses as it takes about 2 minutes to accomplish it. Our trust system is generated and we can check everything out. If we need to update your roof, we can do that. For example, I would, I would decrease my roof slope. Let's make it 25 degrees and press apply. We can then select our trust system grid and go to trust systems in update trust system grid from roof. Then, let's select one of the trusses, go to Truss Systems, and press Select Trusses from the same grid. All the trusses on that grid will be selected. Then, go to Trusses, and press Update Truss from Roof. All trusses will be updated. Our trusses have been updated and we can check out the changes. And if we are happy, our trust system is complete. Now, if we want to insert valid trusses, we need to select the trust system grid, which is our host trust system grid, go to trust systems and press insert valid set grid. Valid set grid was inserted and we can generate trusses. It offers us different kind, different category of trusses, which is valid trusses. And let's press OK. Our valid set trusses was generated, and we can evaluate our design. 